She won't stop nagging me. Betsy, the dame from the office, my new secretary. You've been mean to go out for a night in the jag. You know the type, an E-type. It's a good type. Get a bite after and end with a night in town. Sounds like a swell time, I can already hear you say. But let me hit you with a retort of sorts, see? I was never the type anyway. I'll be honest with you. Open, you might say, so pay attention because I never am. I don't know what to wear. I mean, sure, I've got slacks. My shirt will do the job just fine. But it isn't summer yet, pal. I need a jacket, lest I make myself a shivering fool and a spectacle for your entertainment and a shame for her. Don't rush to conclusions because your evidence is scant. I am looking, but feel free to dub me a pessimist because I don't have much hope, even though I should. I'm a detective. It's my job to connect certain objects to a certain someone. But when you've been looking for others as long as I have, you can forget to look at your own self in the process. Deep, I know. Put that on your list of cheap quotes from that unknown fellow that pops up everywhere. Like a clue that speaks to the culprit. I need to find something that will actually speak to me. This case is the one I'll probably have to hang my hat to. Out of all the cases I've ever done, of all the dots I've connected, I cannot connect a single one that speaks to me, that gives me the justice I deserve, blazer, jacket, or coat. Instead, I just drink the night away hoping she'll forget she even asked me, as I forget the memories I have never been, regret at its finest. Say, what are these papers? I don't remember leaving this here before. What is this? An A1 jacket? Say, isn't this a flight jacket? I'm acquainted with the A2 flight jacket. I can only assume that this is its father. This is strange. I don't even remember having these papers before. But I like what I'm seeing. Whoever left them here, left them for me. Uh, it's leather choice of pilots. And why wouldn't it be? Cockpits are cold hunks of metal, a cold place for cold business, see? The jacket is quite short to accommodate high-waisted pants. Would you have it any other way? That's the real mystery. The fit is quite trim. It's warm with maximum movement when in flight. As the case with the A2, there's some variations, it seems. Mainly varieties of leathers like sheep, goat, and horse. Sorry, Black Beauty, but your skin is needed for the war effort. Civilian jackets could be suede, those lucky bastards. Knit ribbing on the waistband and cuffs for insulation, and a rib button fasted standing collar, like the Barracuda G9. Looking good, Steve McQueen, looking good. Button flat patch pockets, functional yet chic. What else can you expect? What's this here? No front zipper but a button closure, eh? It's old school, it's stylish, it's rakish. I like it. It hit me. Cary Grant, only angels have wings. That's where I've seen this jacket. It took a full moon, some paperwork, and two glasses of four rows of single barrel, but I found it. The A1 blouse and by Craftsman's Clothing. It's an A1, no doubt. Even an amateur could figure that out. But I found a few differences. The pockets have reverse pleats, so more room for those ever-increasing smartphones. Not that I know what a smartphone is, see? I don't have to just pick the size, I can pick the material. So what you say? I could be one lucky bastard after all. Tobacco brown? That's my jam! Say, this fella is way cool, the founder of the rake. I love the rake, and you could say this fella is way cool, if you know what I mean. Say, this is one of their best sellers, too. That's what I've heard around the block, and that tells you something. Say, this could be me. A suede A1 blousin' in my Jag Roadster, and I'd be way cool. This case, as a matter of fact, just may be closed. Just maybe. Say, Betsy, how about you and I go for a little ride sometime? When? Well, as soon as I get my jacket.